I have a new tarot deck that showed up today, the Eternal Tarot, so another Egyptian style deck. Um, so we're going to go look at this. It's uh, unfortunately my box came is a little crushed, but the cards are okay, it looked like. So you open it up and it's just in a, a it's in a little cheap box. It's not, you know, uh, it comes packed up in two separate little decks. The cards are, here we go. The cards are a little wider than the uh, tin, a little larger, a little wider than the tin tarot types. And it does come with a little booklet that talks about um, each of the cards. It's got a uh, Hebrew letter in it, and it talks about it's. It's got a little different than than um, other tarot books. Okay, it's got symbols of the tarot, art and the religion of tarot science and philosophy of tarot, purpose of tarot. Okay, so a little different than some other books that you get. And let's open these and see what we have. See what the card stock is like. It's a uh, cardstock's not really bad. Um, it starts out with the magician. It does not start in this deck with the fool. So these are again a little different. I like the uh, I like the colors on these though, and I like the uh, artwork. So we're just going to flip through these magician, high priestess. You'll see that these are a little different going through too. Empress. Emperor. So they call this hierarch instead of the hierophant. Okay, Anubis there. So that's interesting that they have Anubis. Um, so again, these are now we get into where it's different. Indecision. Triumph. So there would be your chariot, justice, the hermit, retribution, which is the wheel, karmic wheel, retribution. Persuasion, which is the strength card. Again, so these give a little different perspective. Apostolic hangman. Immortality. It would be the death card. Temperance, passion, fragility. So we have the tower, hope, the star. Twilight, the moon, okay. 
inspiration, the sun, resurrection, which would be judgment, transmutation, the return, the plower, the weaver, the argonaut. Now that's really interesting for me, the argonaut, because when I was going through Kundalini, um, I had this vision. I went out in the uh, living room and there was just silver light everywhere, just silver, like walking into a silver mist. And I had this vision of these people in this kind of a buckboard, driving, going. And the girl turned around and she had a third eye here, literally the third eye. And they said, do you want to go with this? And I looked at the side of the buckboard. On the, on the side of it, it said Argonaut, <laughs> the Argonaut. <laughs> So those are some of the things you have. You know, when you're going through Kundalini, you have all these mystical experiences, things that happen. Like I said, you walk out and the room is filled with silver, just silver light walking into like this mist. And these visions that you have are just really uh, in your face, in your face visions. Next, we have the prodigy. The unexpected, uncertainty, domesticity, exchange, impediments, Magnificence, Alliance, Innovation, Grief, Initiation, Art and science, biplicity, testimony. So, like I said, you know, this deck is really different. Um, let's open the second part and see. what it says. This is going to be interesting using these and see how they are compared to, you know, or use in conjunction with my other Egyptian deck and see how it flows. Okay, next we have um, presentiment. Uneasiness, preeminence, imagination, thought. Regeneration, patrimony, D 
deduction consummation versatility affinity counseling premeditation resentment examination contrition pilgrimage rivalry requalification revelation evolution solitude proscription communion vehemence learning perplexity friendship speculation chance cooperation avarice purification love and desire offering generosity the dispenser disorientation and last but not least renaissance so as you can see this deck is quite different <laughs> than any of the other decks. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works. I'm going to have to go through and definitely read, read this booklet that comes with it because these are so different. And I'm looking forward to see how they're going to work with my other tarot cards because, you know, I like to read, you know, Two, two, use two or three decks at a time when I'm doing my reading. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works with my other Egyptian deck. Um, so on that note, I'm going to leave this here. And again, this is the Eternal Tarot. And you can get these on Amazon. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, Love and Light. See you online.